Okay, so now on the 46 Dodge, I'm uh, working on this paper template for the front nose because it really, you can kind of push it and get it, you know, wherever you want it. And the problem is that it's uh, not lining up with the hood as good as I want it to. So I'm going to add an eighth inch uh, sort of hoop in there and stiffen that up before I weld the hood on. So I cut that template on the right and I folded it in half and you could see that it's off by probably about three-eighths of an inch and that's why the hood wasn't fitting quite right. And then I stuck a come-along strap on it and pulled it a little bit and I got it to where it is on the one on the left. And it's still off a little bit but it's off the opposite direction so I'm going to kind of split the difference on this one and then take that paneling and make a template so that I can uh, cut something out of steel. So I'm using that strap right there to pull that thing over and I'll show you what it looks like with this uh, paneling on there. So I'm going to um, cut that out of a piece of eighth inch plate and leave about a one inch flange on there and that way I'll have room to shove my uh, centrifugal blower in there and that'll give me a nice stiff nose so that, that way it, the whole hood doesn't bend around because I want to be able to take this hood off and uh, just drive around with the fenders. So I use this wood paneling to make a template and that way I could make this piece of eighth inch plate and I used that as a flange on the front of this nose in order to stiffen it up and I think today I'm going to put the hood on and try making a quarter inch piece to uh, weld onto the nose and then weld onto the hood and make it one big piece. So I was getting ready to uh, weld a strip right here, 516 strip and connect it all together and then I started thinking well as soon as I lift the hood up if I don't have something holding the back of this back here it's uh, most likely going to bend so I'm going to have to put something off of this framework on the one piece front end frame right in here and take it up and have it so that I can connect it and so I can pull this in and out and get it so that everything's in the right place and that way when I lift the one piece front end yeah, the whole hood will go with it and not try to bend down so what I decided to do about holding the hood up is I'm going to take and put a piece of 3 quarter by 16 thick uh, square tube and connect it on right over there at the end of that uh, tape measure onto the nose on that flange on the nose and run that all the way over to where it's sitting on that hammer head and it's going to be parallel somewhat to the top of that fender. That fender's kind of not really straight so but you won't see that because it'll be underneath the hood then it'll go down where that hammerhead is and over onto that piece of one inch tube and bolt on. And then I'll run that up in the air and uh, across the, uh, the top of the hood and around the scoop. So that's going to be the thing is there's going to be a, a scoop right here. So I'm going to have to have a U-shaped piece of that tubing. And then it's going to come over here and then down onto this point and back across. And since I don't have the tube right now, I think what I'm going to do is over where the uh, end of the tape measure is. I'm going to make a, a piece to go in and connect onto the nose and onto the uh, the flange on the, on the nose. Okay, so I made this piece of paper here to fit in this little area here and connect onto this uh, flange and over to this flange and then I'll take that three quarter inch piece and I'll set it right on top of that and that'll support the back part of the hood. And what was nice is that white piece of paper fit on both sides so I know I'm fairly symmetrical. So you can see that uh, blue part right there that I added on and that connected the flange on the bottom of the nose to the flange on the side of the nose and you can see right here I put a piece of uh, 3 16 on there that I had laying around and it gets me a nice flat surface so that I can attach the one on the other side and I'm going to get that welded on and that will really make it stiffen up. So I'm taking a break from the front end for a little bit until I get some 3 quarter by 3 quarter tubing and I already have some 1 by 1 tubing and I'm going to stiffen up a couple of these uh, cross members here in the bottom of the bed and that will make it a lot better for when I pull my bike into this thing. I want to stiffen at least three of them. The rear one here that will be uh, there will be a uh, a trailer hitch underneath of that so that one will be really stiff. So that's what I decided to do. I'm going to make two of these and then the one in the up near the cab that's going to be slightly different because it has a uh, couple supports 
going down to the frame. So that should add some uh, nice stiffness to the bed floor. So there's my two center bed supports and I have to uh, weld them all up and there maybe do a little bit of grinding here and there for better fit but they should be uh, nice and strong. So there's my uh, two bed supports and I drilled some holes in the bottom of that one to uh, vent it so it doesn't rust from the inside out and I'm ready to put them in. So there's the bed support uh, installed and you can see I got the other one up there. This one there's not a lot of room over there by the frame but there's probably a good inch up there in the front there's quite a bit and I'm going to shove another piece of uh, one by one square tube eighth inch wall underneath that front support that's over on top of the two bed mounts. Okay there's my uh, last bed support I just have to flip that over and put a few drain holes in there and then I'll put it back in. So I still need to make some channels up over the uh, the wheels on the bed sides and connect those two channels that are down there at the bottom because the bed's mounted in the front and the back. But uh, I can already walk around on this and it feels pretty stiff already which is pretty surprising. So I think I'm going to leave this one here and then I'll come back on the next one and finish off the front end.